What if I told you that one of the strangest dinosaurs ever discovered only revealed its true identity 50 years later? Imagine finding a set of massive arms, nearly eight feet long, and no clue what creature they belong to. For decades, scientists were baffled by a fossil with terrifying claws. But what if I told you those claws were just part of the mystery? How could these massive hands belong to a dinosaur that wasn't even close to what we imagined? Was it a predator? A gentle giant? Today, we're solving the riddle of Dinochirus, the dinosaur with the horrible hands. And I promise you, its story is much weirder than you think. In the 1960s, paleontologists made a bizarre discovery, an incomplete skeleton with enormous claws. But for 50 years, they couldn't figure out what kind of dinosaur it actually was. Well, in 2014, the mystery was finally cracked. And the answer was nothing like anyone expected. Join me as we unravel the mystery behind the strange and powerful hands of Dinochirus, a dinosaur that totally defied our expectations. In 1965, paleontologists were working in the Gobi Desert, an area already known for its rich dinosaur fossils. That year, a team stumbled upon something extraordinary, a set of huge forelimbs. These arms were massive, around 2.4 meters long, equipped with huge claws, clearly designed for something important. But there was a major problem. There was no body, no skull, no legs, just these enormous arms. Naturally, scientists assumed it belonged to a carnivorous dinosaur, maybe a terrifying, powerful predator. But without the rest of the body, it was impossible to know what it actually looked like. The find became a famous mystery in paleontology. For decades, Dinochirus' identity remained a puzzle. The initial discovery raised many questions. How could a dinosaur with such powerful arms be part of a larger, unknown creature? And why hadn't they found any more bones? The fossil was on display at the Mongolian Academy of Sciences, but it wasn't until 2014 that the mystery began to unravel. That year, new fossils of Dinochirus were discovered, including a full skeleton, with legs, a skull, and more. The discovery completely redefined what scientists thought about Dinochirus. It wasn't the fearsome predator everyone had assumed. In fact, it was a massive herbivore, much more gentle than its claws suggested. This new discovery opened up a whole new chapter in dinosaur research showing that paleontology still had mysteries to solve. When scientists got their hands on a full skeleton of Dinochirus, they were shocked. First of all, it wasn't the vicious carnivore they'd imagined. Instead, it was a huge herbivore, likely feeding on plants, not other dinosaurs. Standing at about 11 meters long and weighing around 6 tons, Dinochirus was a giant. But the most striking feature was, of course, its arms, long, muscular, with three massive claws on each hand. They were clearly designed for something, but scientists weren't entirely sure what at first. The head of Dinochirus was relatively small compared to its body, with a broad snout and teeth better suited for eating plants than for hunting. Its neck was long and flexible, allowing it to reach high branches for food similar to modern herbivores. Its legs were built for walking on two feet, but it was also likely capable of using all four for support due to its size. And while its tail was long and stiff, it was likely used for balance when walking upright. But again, the real question remained. What were those arms for? Now let's talk about the most puzzling part. Those giant arms. Dinochirus didn't seem like a beast of battle, so how did it use those massive forelimbs? Scientists believe that those huge arms might have been used for grabbing and pulling vegetation, especially the thicker plants that other herbivores might have found hard to reach. With claws designed for gripping, it likely used them to bring branches and leaves closer to its mouth. But there's another theory. Some researchers think Dinochirus could have used its claws for defense against predators, 
Even though it wasn't a carnivore, its size and powerful arms could have deterred potential threats, making it a less likely target for smaller predators. Another interesting theory is that the arms might have been used for social interactions, like impressing other members of its species during mating season or showing dominance. Finally, we can't ignore the idea that these arms might have been useful in digging for underground food like tubers, adding another layer of versatility to this already peculiar dinosaur. As for how it lived, it's likely Dinocyrus lived in herds, like other large herbivores. Its size made it harder for predators to attack, but the safety of numbers would have still been an advantage. The name Dinocyrus translates to terrible hands, a fitting label for such enormous and imposing arms. But now we know that those hands weren't about terror, they were about survival. The claws weren't for attacking, but for foraging, defending, and even possibly socializing. The more scientists study Dinocyrus, the clearer it becomes that the most unusual features of this dinosaur were designed for specific purposes, helping it thrive in a world filled with predators and competition. Its arms, though strange, were just one part of its unique survival strategy. Still, Dinocyrus serves as a reminder of just how little we know about ancient life. Fossils, even those as incredible as this one, can hide mysteries that take decades to solve. And in some cases, they reveal creatures that are more bizarre and more fascinating than we could have imagined. From a strange discovery of massive arms to the revelation that Dinocyrus wasn't the terrifying predator we once thought, this dinosaur reminds us how much we still don't know about life on Earth millions of years ago. If you found this mystery as fascinating as I did, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more cool dinosaur stories. See you next time.